There are currently more than 84,000 chemicals in today's American market. Many of these are in daily use items, such as household cleaners or lotion. However, only about 1% of them have been studied for safety. This video is going to focus on one chemical in particular, triclosan. Triclosan is a synthetic antimicrobial ingredient used to slow or stop the growth of bacteria, fungi, and mildew. It was first registered as a pesticide in 1969 and since then has expanded commercially into many products. Today it can be found in soaps, shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, mouthwash, cleaning supplies, hospital scrubs, kitchen utensils, toys, bedding, socks, trash bags, cutting boards, carpeting, latex paint, fire hoses, fabric, and many other commercial and industrial equipment. Triclosan has since become a concern for human health. A study by the CDC found triclosan in 75% of people tested. It is thought to be absorbed through the skin, as 60% of what we apply to our skin is absorbed into our bloodstream. It has been shown to interfere with muscle function and alter hormone regulation. Body products with triclosan also have the potential to create antibiotic resistant bacteria, which can lead to complications in treating disease, as well as new evidence that shows prolonged exposure to triclosan in children lead to a higher chance of developing allergies. Triclosan has caused a number of environmental concerns as well. Studies have shown that large quantities of triclosan can leave wastewater treatment plants and enter the water stream, causing damage to marine organisms, especially in regards to algae, which many water critters rely on for a food source. While there is much need for concern, there are simple solutions that are available so that you can avoid triclosan. Number one, check for triclosan or triclocarbon on ingredient lists for soaps and other personal care products especially for products labeled antibacterial, antimicrobial, or antifungal. It is important to note that studies have shown that washing hands with regular soap removes the same amount of bacteria as antibacterial soap. Number two, if you use hand sanitizers, the alcohol-based ones are less likely to contain triclosan or triclocarbon. Number three, when looking for triclosan in plastics and fabrics, it is also labeled as microban or biofresh.